ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Passive Cash Flow Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron Fragnito, and we're going to talk to one of our past investors here with People's Capital Group, Frank Bacuzzi, who also runs a real estate negoti- short sale negotiating company. So say hi, Frank. Hey guys, Aaron, thanks for having me today. Thank Always you. a pleasure uh, seeing you. Absolutely, my friend. Always glad to hang out with you, spend some time here at your office. It's a nice, uh, nice fireplace back here you have. That's very nice. It's not an operating fireplace. It wouldn't pass a home inspection, just to clarify. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but Frank here, so tell us a little bit about what New Horizons Mitigation does and uh, what you guys focus on. So New Horizons Mitigation is a short sale negotiating uh, firm. We, uh, we contract with law offices and real estate offices throughout the state in helping them with their short sale transactions. We take all the dirty work out of the short sale, leaving the others to focus on their particular part of the uh, transaction. No, it's excellent. And as an agent getting started, I worked with Frank's company and actually helped me move a lot of short sales. And that's how I made my first commissions and was able to start building my portfolio. And Frank and I bought some properties together and him as a passive investor. And it really allowed us to to get started in real estate over the years. Um, And as a realtor, it's a great service. We still use New Horizons Mitigation today. We still have a handful of deals going with them. And they're great, you know. Um, Now, Seth, uh, Frank, do you charge the... uh, agent uh, anything to do the short sale negotiating no so our model is pretty unique Uh, the agents keep all of their commissions on all the transactions that we do our fees are built in Uh, there's no out-of-pocket costs for anybody Uh, the bank typically pays those fees and we're compensated uh, through the uh, law offices that we work for Nice, nice. All right, that's interesting. So, uh, who are you usually generally looking to team up with? Like, are you do you work with attorneys as well? How does that work? Right. So we cater to attorneys and real estate professionals. Uh, we also can work directly for the customer, uh, seller, and buyers. You know, through our real estate brokerage now, uh, we have a lot more flexibility depending on uh, the transaction. The way it comes into us, we can operate in a few different ways. That's awesome. Now, Frank, you also sell bank-owned properties and you list these short sales as well. Uh, is that right? Correct. So we started doing uh, REO sales and asset management, uh, foreclosure mitigation work over the last several years kind of spawned off of the short sale business since we've been in distressed real estate pretty much my entire uh, career now. Now, do you have any fixer-uppers for sale right now? Uh, sure. We must uh, have at least a handful in the market that are available. I know we have one out in uh, West New Jersey and Alpha for sale right now. Uh, we're always getting new inventory uh, coming in the door, new assignments. Where can investors go to check out your fixer uppers for sale? So our website is uh, costellorealty.com or nhmitigation.com. Uh, it can also be found on Zillow and uh, LinkedIn. Okay. So now, if you're not a realtor and you're not an attorney, but you want to buy short sales, uh, do you work with investors that are like connecting you with sellers that want to do short sales? Uh, yes. So we come across, again, these, these opportunities or these transactions come to us from a variety of sources. Uh, sometimes they're the seller client, sometimes it may come from the listing agent or a buyer. And depending on the situation, we kind of adapt and uh, we can figure out how to help out because there's a number of different uh, setups that we can kind of follow. So you run a short sale negotiating company, you sold $14 million worth of real estate last year as a broker owner, you own your own brokerage here, Costello Realty, and about uh, 10, 11 years ago, you were a pizza delivery guy, is that correct? Yes, well, pizza delivery and pizza maker. You okay, know, we gotta yeah. move it on up. Let's clarify. Uh, Frank can make pizza. Very, very good pizza. That's it. A few years of experience under my belt there, but I realized that uh, the long term wasn't going to be uh, what I was looking for in the pizza business. So, uh, <laughs> I realized one day that I needed something that had a lot more potential, and uh, watching TV saw an infomercial uh, late at night trying to figure out where I was heading when I was 19 or 20 years old and uh, came across real estate, saw an infomercial about being a landlord, buying property and passive income and all the stuff that we're now uh, involved in. And I realized that the potential there was it was quite large, you know, uh, self kind of uh, di- directed. And so I decided to get into the business as an agent and right at the uh, beginning of the housing crisis, mm. 
And one thing led to another, ended up getting into short sales and formed a business out of it. And now we are, you know, a decade in. Now, was that Carlton Sheets you saw? Uh, it might have been Carlton Sheets. I mean, I think I ended up buying uh, one of the books there and yeah, did a little okay. reading. And okay. then uh, one thing led to another. I got sure. uh, my feet wet in the business and then found the niche and then just really worked in that niche. And we've been lucky enough to still be in that area today. And uh, mm -hmm. we look forward to continuing, you know, what we, what we started. So it's pretty interesting as you were able to work your way, you know, out of an industry that didn't really have much future into being your own business owner in the real estate industry. Um, so what suggestions can you give to someone that kind of wants to break into real estate, but they work at a nine to five, maybe they work more than that, maybe they work at eight to eight, you know, whatever it is these days, uh, but they have a little money and they want to get into the real estate industry, but don't necessarily have the time. Well, I mean, you have two options. You can go the passive route or you can go the active route. Mm -hmm. You can get hands on. Uh, of course, there's a lot more details, a lot more steps and challenges that you may come across as a beginner, you know, things they may not have expected. I mean, uh, you don't really understand or learn some of these concepts mm -hmm. until you've been through it. Sure. So there's that route, but if you're on a limited schedule and you're afraid to kind of dive in all the way, then an option would be to passively invest with a company that has been around for a while, that has a, a system set up, that has a good team and, and a track record. And uh, you can invest with a company like that that would do all of that legwork for you, mm -hmm. where you sit back as the uh, passive investor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, yeah. And now with the um, with the flip business as well. So you've been an active investor also. Um, you know, so you've been a passive investor with PCG. You've been an active investor. You sell the real estate. Um, what suggestions do you have for active investors? Did you learn anything from your flips? Oh, well, it's. Uh, I think it's really just persistence. At the end of the day, uh, it's staying on top of all the little details and the moving parts. I mean, uh, you're constantly working with different people. You're constantly facing challenges, uh, you wake up one day and something happens that you don't expect, you gotta be able to react to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that persistence that ultimately is what uh, shines through. Uh, you know, not, not giving up uh, in the face of adversity or when things look like they're gonna fall apart or the transaction's gonna be lost. You know, it's a little bit of that extra effort that sometimes makes it happen. No, absolutely. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? We're just problem solvers. Every day as active investors, you know, Seth and I, uh, my business partner, Seth, of course, he uh, solves a lot of problems. I solve a lot of problems through the day. You know, we're always dealing, uh, I deal with more investor issues, Seth more on the uh, property management and the day-to-day -day headaches of property management or operating flips. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a problem solving job, right? I think that's uh, the better you are at solving problems, generally the more you get paid in your industry, I've been told, right? So that's right. It's very interesting. Um, all right, great. So then um, if I'm a realtor or an attorney and I need help with short sales or I want to kind of break into that, uh, where would they go to connect with you then? So to connect with me, you'd again, visit my website. I always welcome a phone call to the office or an email to start a conversation. Uh, again, we provide a variety of services and we're always looking to recruit new agents to kind of build on our team. You know, we have a small team, but we're very efficient and we're very effective in what we do. So I'm looking to add maybe a few uh, more team members, but at the end of the day, it's always about serving the customer and the client and figuring out what solution is gonna be best uh, for them. That's excellent. And what's your uh, website, your phone number here? So website is costellorealty.com and uh, our office line, 908-838-9550. And it can also be found on uh, Zillow or LinkedIn. Excellent, excellent. And of course, if you're looking to do a passive investment in real estate, if you're on the passive side, and you want to start earning cash flow passively through New Jersey apartment buildings, you know peoplescapitalgroup.com is the place to go to get qualified and start participating passively in these apartment buildings that we buy almost every quarter with investors all around the country, but we focus on buildings here in New Jersey so the rent roll stays strong and the equity stays strong through good markets and bad. So guys, I'm Aaron Fragnito. This is Frank Bacuzzi with New Horizon Mitigation here. Thanks a lot, Frank, for coming out today. Thank I'm glad you, Aaron. you join us. You're, you're quite it's, a gentleman. It's been fun. Oh, Absolutely. thank you very much. Absolutely. Anytime. You've really accomplished a lot in you know, 10, 11 years here in the real estate industry. And uh, 
And I'm sure you got a bright future That's ahead. Right. I look forward to the both of us the next uh, 10 years, what it will bring. Absolutely. Maybe I'll we'll be back on the podcast when you hit um, what, maybe 20 million in holdings. 20 million. Okay? All right. I'll be back on the podcast. Good, okay? good deal. Whoever gets their first wins, all right? <laughs> You got it. You got it. I think I'm going to win that race. All right. You ready? You ready? All right. My ladies. running shoes on. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot for listening in. Uh, check in every week for a new episode every Friday here at People's Capital Group. And check us out at peoplescapitalgroup.com and learn more about qualifying for those passive investments in New Jersey apartment buildings. Have a good day.